Hello my friends, my name is Wiari and welcome back to World of Light. Last time we took out the left hand side of the World of Darkness, which uh, basically defeated the Ganon boss fight. We got a couple more characters uh, and at the end of last episode we found here, we're in a Castlevania area. As you can see this is Dracula's castle. Uh, I don't fully know where to go or anything, there's a couple fighters I can see in here. Oh my god, there's, there's the boss. But there's a fighter there, fighter there, fighter on the far left, far, fighter on the far right. We got a lot of shit to do here it looks like. Uh, I'm going straight in with my boy Sonic once again. Look at this. Hey, look, we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog 1. <laughs> Remember 2D guy guys? You guys love 2D Sonic. It's the only one that was good, apparently. Anyway, ignore my ramblings. We got a lot of generic spirits to fight before we get to actually any meaty shit. So let's get stuck in. We've entered the building. We got a timer thing. What is happening? What's it showing me? The surrounding area has returned to its original state. Alright. So, probably to the surprise of no one once again, you got a silver cannonball, if only you had a cannon. Where, oh, where can I find a cannon? Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know anything about Castlevania. I've never actually played a Castlevania game, ever. I've only ever watched people play it, like the Grumps play it. Uh, Again, like, they kind of look like they would be fun, like, same like, I, with, with sort of like Metroid games, uh, they look like they could be fun, but I, I, I kind of don't like the way, like, the Castlevania, Metroidvania style games, I'm not super into them, even though they're kind of platformery, I don't know, there's something about them that just don't look super appealing to me, maybe I'd enjoy it if I played it, because that's really what it comes down to, is will, will, will I have fun when I play it? And I don't know until I do, but there's nothing that's drawing me to play it. That's that's kind of like where my mindset goes. It's like, you know what? That's probably a good game, but there's nothing that makes me want to go play it, if you get me. And I don't know why that that is just the case for a lot of games. A lot of games just don't look super appealing to me. Uh, I don't know. But also, like, as a kid, like, I never grew up with Castlevania like a lot of people did. Or Metroid. Like, I never owned the games and I never really heard about any of them, t any of them being talked about. Like, when I was a kid, the only games I knew of were the ones that we got bought for us, and that was it. I, I, the only time I ever really saw commercials for games were just so happened to be, like, Pokemon games. I remember seeing adverts for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but, like, that's about as far as it would go. I didn't see adverts for many other games, and, yeah, that's why my gaming, like, interests are so narrow, I imagine. I probably should not be letting go of the controller. I had no jump, and so I spin dash, and I killed myself. Why? All right, Cannon, defeat the vanquish the darkness or whatever. Okay, so they aren't actual bosses. We just have to, to to blow their shit up. All right, so let me let me reverse this again and see what it looks like. Oh, that resets it, so it's a puzzle. Okay, so if I get something wrong, I have to reset it doing that. Got it. I've got my cannonball back as well. Okay, <laughs> let's kill this guy again. Bye bye. And let's move on. Okay, so I, I probably want to show more of this world map because this is more puzzlish than uh, than most of these areas so far. I can go up. There's a switch, which flicks that. Okay. We got a couple more spirits to fight here as we ascend, ascend from darkness. Ooh, got some more stairs to climb here. Oh, this leads us right to a fighter. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, I forgot. I I'm not supposed to walk up to those. God. Damn it. Okay, that just puts me back to the start. So it didn't <laughs> didn't punish me too greatly. I thought it was gonna reset everything and I thought I'd have to do it all again. Oh my god. All right, correctly this time. Pop the cannonball in there. Get rid of the bay. And let's see who it is. I think we could unlock Luigi here. We got Daisy. Wasn't expecting to see her here. We're probably gonna unlock Luigi here since Luigi was basically murdered in Dracula's castle in like the pre-release trailers whenever Simon was revealed. So I expect to see him here, but also because obviously Luigi, Luigi's mansion, like it would make sense to put him here. Uh, I I think so. I don't know why Daisy's here. That might be a reference to like Super Mario Land 1 or whatever game it was that she was introduced in, but I actually haven't played Super Mario Land 1. I've, I've played the second one, the, the six gold coins or whatever they're called. I really like that one. I, I've never, I don't know why we never had the first one, but the second one was really good. And that's the one that I believe introduced Wario. And I remember having so much fun with that game. I really liked the rabbit ears, but like, I remember nothing about it. I should really go back and play it. I, I have the cartridge still. She's been murdered. But uh, yeah, I think it would be fun to like go back and like get the cartridge for, for Mario Land 1 and, and see what it's like. Because I've heard people say it's good. For me, like I looked at like, I've seen video of it and it just looks like Mario Bros. 1 in a way, like aesthetically, but like on a Game Boy. But maybe that's just because uh, that was the style they were going for. Mario 2, like Mario Land 2 looks a bit more unique and its own thing in my eyes. But 
Fuck, I don't know. I've never played it, so I don't know. I'm, I'm maybe just making shit up. I just mean like the sprites look kind of similar to Mario 1. Anyway, uh, let's keep on going. Oh yeah, let's switch into Daisy and see what we can do with her. I think it's brilliant that the very first Echo Fighter they revealed for this game, other than fighters that were already clones from previous games, was Daisy. Like, it was quite pretty genius because it's one of those things where like everyone was like, oh yeah, just make Daisy a character because she'd be an easy clone character before Echoes were a thing. Uh, and then a second, the, soon, ugh, the second that they mentioned clone characters were a thing, as in Echoes, uh, I completely forgot all about Daisy's existence. And then they were like, oh, here's a brand new Echo and showed her off. And I'm like, oh yeah. I suppose that does make sense. But then it also made it all the more funny that she got in before Waluigi because, like, I mean, technically speaking, Daisy's been in a mainline Mario, like, mainline, if you consider Mario Land 1 to be mainline, but she's been in a Mario game before Waluigi has, so I suppose it only makes sense that she's in as a fighter before him. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if Peach necessarily needed an Echo, but it's nice that she got one. Uh, other than the Toad color, I don't really know what the difference is between them. I don't think most people know what the difference is because there is barely any if if at all uh but similar to peach like i kind of like playing as her like she's a bit weird and a bit like inconsistent for me because i'm not got that good with her but the tech that people can pull off with peach and daisy is insane and it is nice that peach and daisy have like very different personalities although daisy has always kind of annoyed me in a way just because of like how loud and obnoxious she can be like hi i'm daisy from double dash oh if you could stop that would be lovely but yeah Glad that Dizzy's here. Don't play her myself. I don't mind fighting them, but they are scary when put in the right hands. Thankfully, even those people who have the right hands, I have had decent run-ins with, but there's always people who are much more crazy with those kind of play styles uh, that I haven't played. So I don't know. Don't think I really want to fight a really amazing Peach and Dizzy player, but they're out there and they're deadly. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. My uh, my skill tree has the thing unlocked for if I parry a projectile, it'll reflect it back. And I just destroyed that Mewtwo with that amazing parry. Oh, oh ho ho. What is this? We can cover a, a secret s uh, ladder. I was going to say stairway, but it's not. Wario. We're getting all the Mario rejects here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose he is like in a sort of creepy castle uh, at the end of his game as well. Okay. Fair enough. I'll, I'll allow it. I didn't really know where else to expect him. I suppose at this point, like, they kind of just have to put characters wherever they can uh, with how, how little that there is left, but also how little area we have left. All right, let's beat his ass. For a second there, my brain thought like, oh yeah, did you forget to play as someone? I don't think I did. Hang on, let me look at Wario's eyes. His eyes look really odd. Because, ugh. Because, like, every character has had, like, red eyes or whatever, but, like, because his, like, whites are purple, like, there's something just very off about those eyes. I don't like it. Yeah, this shouldn't be too tough. Wario is kind of the wh another one of those characters. My speech, I swear. Another one of those characters where, like, he he's oddly very effective in, in capable hands. Like, people do some amazing tech with him in this game. I, I wouldn't know where to begin with any of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to do homing attack techs. Homing attack techs. I mean, people will argue that homing attack is barely tech, but I think it's cool. I can do shit like that, but people will be like, oh, it's cheap, it locks up. I don't care. Sonic's my character, not yours. Play with your own and complain about your own, not mine or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. Well, anyway, let's let's give Wario crack and actually give him some screen time and discuss him. Wee! From the tallest peak of the highest tower. I don't know what this will do. I don't... Fuck it, let's flick it. What, what, what's the worst that could happen? Surrounding error has returned to its original state. I don't know what the difference is, guys. I, I don't feel very informed. Zora. Ah, the Zora. <laughs> Shoot me, I dare you. Haha. <laughs> oh, that didn't reach, really? Okay, well, we got Wario here. Wario is one of those characters that's a bit weird. Like... You would think he would be very slow and and maybe not that great. Probably a, a bit of a heavy hitter. Uh, and he he is a heavy hitter, but he's not slow at all. He's so damn quick. I don't get it. And also, I barely got any time to talk about him there. So I'll keep talking as I'm here. What's happening? That, that sounds like some Super Mario effects right there. I'm going to just go back and check that out real quick. But uh, yeah, Wario is like, he's so quick in this game and I don't get why. Okay, let's just take it back here. Okay, okay. Uh, 
and like it, it it's one of those things where like once again another fighter in this game is is full of like high speed high damage uh but like their their main weakness is basically just that they can get gimped to a degree uh, i'm not super fond of that kind of design um where is my boy there he is just because like if you can just avoid getting hit or getting pushed off siege then your one weakness is then gone because wario can throw it like forward airs and nares like nobody's business like nair leads into for some reason has two hits on it two hits not one where it goes like you can hit him on the way up and then hit him on the way down and then that leads into to either like an up air or an up tilt and like there's so many of these things that are super quick they do very little knockback which means people get stuck in them and then it racks up but the damage it does is pretty high and then it leads up for wario's best thing which is waft waft can kill it like 30 40 percent maybe i'm making that up but like it kills so early for no goddamn reason like it does take a little while to charge up and especially in a match with our items because obviously where am i did i die oh no i'm down here getting pummeled um <laughs> i was wondering why the match was still going if i died yeah like it it does take a while for it to to, to rev up basically but um like waft it'll charge by the end of like your second stock and then people will use it on their third stock so it almost means that no matter what you're fighting wario with a two against three stock like that's what your matchup is and that's insane and then like when he's on the bike he he is uh he's able to go quite through quite a lot of things that you can hit him off obviously but it's it's quite a challenging thing to do like he has a lot of bike strats as well where you can like throw the bike up and make it land and then do a forward smash or a forward tilt or something on the bike and then because he destroys the bike it extends his hitbox makes it longer not like the, the hitbox gets stretched but i mean like the length of time it takes to use it gets longer so he'll throw it out and the hitbox will be out longer for for blowing up that bike and then that's good for like catching people on ledge and all this other shit like wario has so much weird advantage it doesn't make sense when in brawl i felt like he was one of the worst characters because he was just such an odd pick and it was wario for god's sake I don't even remember if he was that good in 4, just because I can't remember fighting a lot of Warios. I imagine there was probably some decent, like, WAF tech and stuff. There we go, I got the Gimp Ryu there. Like, Ryu is another example of a character that has insane damage output because of his command, his combos and stuff, which got buffed for no reason, and then can just die by getting Gimped. But getting Gimped is the hard part. Like, I can Gimp an AI, no problem, but Gimping a real person, not as easy. No, it's not as easy. But anyway, uh, <laughs> let me keep at it here. I don't entirely know what's going on here. I'll, I think I'll take out this fighter and then flick the switch and see what that does for us before I start firing cannonballs everywhere. Hey, just a little flick of the switch. What do you do? Ah! Oh, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Let's shoot this one on the left. Oh, that kills two. It's a cannonball, Adam. It goes through things. Sorry, I just thought it would take out one and no more. Okay, well, I'll get this chest, which has 30 skill spheres. I like to see it. We get this one and pop back down. So now we have two choices. Oh, well, maybe we want to leave it like that because then it will hit both of them because it'll bounce off and go down. I got you. I'm got you. I'm big brain. Look at this. Big brain. That's how it's done. I took them all out first. Go. Yes. Can I go in here? Oh, where am I? Uh, nowhere. Okay, can't go anywhere in there. Let's go up here. Got another cannonball right here. So now where are we? We're on the outside. Damn, this place is massive. And there's so many fighters here. And so many puzzles here. The nice looking moon. <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep going. It's kind of... Okay, there we go. We got the chest here. Snacks. Oh boy, I'm glad I ran all this way for that. So where do I go next then? I don't think I can go up from here. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. This makes sense. Okay, we're back inside the building. Let's see what we can find. There's another cannonball there, so that'll give us two. And then we'll probably go all the way to the top here. Another cannonball there. Don't know how I'm going to shoot that guy. Uh... That goes there, and maybe another one somewhere else. I don't know. I'm just trying to, like... Oh, no, no. Ah, God damn it! I'm just trying to, like, figure out what my plan of action is without wasting my balls. I don't... I don't want to waste my balls, guys! Oh-ho! 
Oh, there we go. We got some ladders now. Isn't that lovely? Oh, hello. Secret basement de dweller fighter. Okay, I'll go get you. I wasn't expecting a fighter out of this. Who you be? Ridley. Why is he in the basement? <laughs> That's such a weird place to put him. You could have put him on that mountain where Shulk was, for Christ's sake. I'm still bitter about that, just because it's like... Garb played... Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want us getting like a lot of certain fighters like early, like Ridley, because of how much damage he can do, but I I don't know. Jesus, going straight for the, the up B right off the bat. Leave me B, leave me, leave me Rid B. Okay, that stage spike would have killed a normal person. And that one, well actually that was, that one didn't even, stop attacking everything, Christ. That's the thing about these AIs. They just tech everything until you get to a certain percent and then it's like, oh, now you can do the cool shit. Oh no, he's got the he's got the the thing. Maybe I can pop his shield with it instead. I forget what it's called, Mr. Saturn. That's it. Just when, 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 as soon as those come out on screen, I'm just like, all right, don't press shield button for any reason. Oh, he's dead. Okay. As long as he didn't hit the Saturn and get another up out of it, that's grand. All right, Ridley is done. We got a lot more skill spheres. I should really take a look at my skill tree because I've like at this point, like I've almost unlocked like everything that matters. Like, I have so many. Uh, skill spheres. I have 142 right now, so I can buy this one. Increases the number of mid-air jumps, mid jumps by one. That's great. Gimme, gimme. Increases the distance and power of thrown items. Why the hell not? What's this? Increases final smash meter charging speed. Yes, yes, yes. And then, like, this is just poison. This uh, increases the power of items and attacks used in the air. Okay, well, that's an, an okay one we can just adapt to any fighter. But, like, these are all situational, like, metal opponents, poison... Poison, floor. Uh, that one is a perfect shield, which I'm already pretty good at perfect shields anyway, but that would be handy. And then the dojo one, I don't need at all because I'm just not using them. I don't care. The, so I guess the only other things that are really helpful to us are probably this lot over here. And that one. And that one. Like, we're going to have most of these unlocked pretty soon, which, which I like. I like that you can unlock most, if not all of them. But uh, we'll see how, how bad it gets. Like, I, I don't know if it's making us like too overpowered, but I'm digging it. I like all the buffs we're getting. It's great that Ridley finally made it into the game. It's He's still too damn big. He's big as hell. So like sometimes his attacks just hit way much further than you expect it to. The amount of times I get hit by up smash when I don't expect to is insane. Also, I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. Also, his dunce. Stop. Stop it, Ryu. Like I was saying, also his down smash is massive, which I didn't get to use there thanks to his side B. He's doing so much, oh, my jump power and my defense are done. That's why he's doing so much damage. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, well, I, I just want to talk about Ridley. I don't even know that much about him. I just want to talk about him. Well, I, my good friend, have side B. Shit, don't fall off the stage. Side B is one of those ridiculous moves that Ridley has, like, Rid Ridley, once again, like some of the other fighters that are, are heavies. I mean, that's the thing, right? Is heavy looks like a heavy and it's the size of a heavy, but he's actually light for some reason. I don't get why. I guess it's so that he's not totally busted. Like, so that if you do get like a lot of hits on, I'm saying like a lot. And I have noticed that about this playthrough and I'm sorry, but it's really hard to describe things without saying like, and I don't, I never used to be that guy, but I've noticed it so much about this playthrough and it's really pissing me off. God damn it, Ryu. I need to figure out some way to not get these debuffs because they are destroying me more than he is himself. Ridley is once again another example of a character that is way faster than you think he's going to be. Oh my god, that nearly killed me a one hit. Oh my god, whatever I equipped, it's not doing enough. Stop, stop. So like even this, like his four tail is insanely quick. It's a great way for uh, covering ledge when people are trying to recover. In fact, I'm just going to do this and see what happens. Okay, he's figured me out. He's started using projectiles. God damn it boy so when you can utilize his fast moves really effectively which i can't because i'm not very good as ridley um you can do some pretty insane stuff i mean for the most part ridley's best thing is being able to catch people who don't expect him to be in range so like right like right here i wouldn't expect to be in range but like forward air and forward tilt could probably reach ryu before you realize that you're being hit and then up smash also reaches way higher than you think uh he's got some really good stuff but unfortunately he does suffer from being like a huge lightweight so he's big and he's light, so he dies really... Not ne He doesn't really die super early, but he dies early enough that it matters. Oh! Oh, I reflected his thing! Okay, so I equipped a thing where I'm invincible temporarily at the start of the match. That didn't seem to do jack shit. 
Okay, so his side B is also super effective for like throwing people off stage. It's also quite an easy way to like just cheese people out of a out of a out of a win because it can do so much damage for no reason. Okay, catch him. How did that miss? Oh, I'm upset. Don't, 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 don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're a bully, Ryu. I'm about to beat him. Yes. Good forward tilt. So quick. So good. So far. So much rage. <sighs> I like that Ridley's here. For the people who really wanted him. For the fact that he's no longer just too big, even though he's massive in the game still. Uh, I like that he's here. I don't fully like playing him just because I can't get to grips with his, his like, huge stature and, and stuff like that there. Uh, but I also quite enjoy fighting him because it's one of those things where, like, I don't like being hit by side B, but I do like comboing the shit out of them because he's so big and so easy to kill. Uh, but at the same time, he can just kill you with some cheap tactics sometimes. But that's besides the point. Let us ascend the staircase, grab this cannonball after we beat this guy, and see where we can go from here. Grab those balls. Let's go. Is this a ladder? It is. Okay. We got another... Oh, that's all we get. We only get another ball up here. Okay. I'll grab that. Uh, still don't know where I can use them, though. We just took out a boo, so I'm assuming... No! That was a boo! So you should be Luigi! It makes the most sense! Why are you Dark Pit? I don't get why they would do that. I mean, fair enough, it doesn't really have to, to be, like, that connected or, or matter that much. But I'm just sort of miffed because it's like, okay, well, Luigi's probably going to be here. I'm going to be wrong about this again, aren't I? But Luigi's probably going to be here. And it's like, why would you not put him next to Abu, the things that he's hunting for the most part? I mean, I know the, the ghosts in Luigi's mansions are not boos, but the, there's King Boo. And I don't know. I just feel like it made more sense to go here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's being defended up higher in this tower by something else. But I don't know. It, it just makes... I feel like it makes too much sense to have put Luigi there and that they should have done it, but they didn't do it. They put this guy here. Why this guy? Why him? I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> we got him. Let's use him and then throw him away and never use him again. <laughs> we even got the spirit for death here. I'm hard to launch. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I got I got a buff. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he wants to kill me with the scythe. But we got the spirit for death here as well, which is who took out Luigi in the trailer. So it's like, why? Is Luigi not the one that was up there? Oh, I got sudden damage. Oh, shit. That death scythe will kill me now. Does he still have it? He does. Okay. I have to not get hit by that. Because if that kills me... If that hits me, that's just an instant kill. Okay, that's good. Charge my neutral beat. And... Dead. Nope. He got me with his before he got hit by mine. Surprisingly. I did expect him to react to that, but he is AI. Come on. Oh, yeah. Shit, I should be talking about Dark Pit. Uh, I mean, he's not much different than Pit. Uh, I do like that his arrows do a bit more uh, damage and stuff and knockback, but ultimately he's kind of the same. I don't really want to play as him. I don't really like playing against him. I just find them kind of boring, honestly. Like, they're a bit more brawlery than the typical fighter that has a weapon, uh, but they're still just kind of dull for my taste. There we go. So, I don't know. I don't mind it that he's here. I don't mind that he got brought in at all in the first place, but I could do without him in terms of, like, uh... Kid Icarus representation, I don't know if we needed two pits that play very similarly and that the only difference is the side B looks a different color or the neutral B shoots a different kind of arrow. I don't know. I feel like they could have done without that. Ah, god damn it, I did it again. All right, we're walking on in. Let's see, we got a couple different routes we can go. We can go down here and hit this cannon. That's just going to go down. Do we, I think we want it to go up. There's a switch there at the top. Okay, let's, let's uh, go on up first if I can go up. Yes, okay, switch. There we are. We can take out that guy in the middle. So let's go back down. Fill up our cannon friend. Nice. Oh, we destroyed the gears too. Nice. The cogwheel collapsed and the path changed. Interesting. Uh, can I go to the right? No, I can't. Okay. So now I can go left. I can reach here. Okay. Jail of Jewel, Castlevania, Portrait of Ruin. Nice, we got more Castlevania music. No, no, no! Oh! I almost ran right into that dude. I didn't even, I didn't even see him. Okay, well, let me see. This cannon is aiming, like, down left. That's not going to reach anything. There's nothing else over here to the left, is there? No, okay. So, I don't want to shoot out of that. I want to go up. Can I go up? No, this is probably what the hourglass is for. Okay, okay, okay. 
It's time for big brain. We're going big brain here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because I currently can't go left, but I can go up. And I want to shoot this. Hmm. That only changes that bottom one. Okay, well, we, we can experiment. What does this do? Yeah, that's what I thought it needed to do. All right, hold on. So my small brain realized that we could actually go down this ladder. There's a thing here. I don't think this is going to do anything, though. Yep. Because it looks like we should be able to shoot off that, and then maybe it'll go up there and hit that. I don't know. It's... I don't think there's any more switches left for us. Because that switch already did something. That switch already did something. Like, we've already been everywhere so far, so I don't really know what else to do. And we can't get to that guy because we just walk up a tar, and then we're right at that guy's ass, so... I don't know. Maybe we should just go up to the boss and see if maybe beating the boss clears away the rest of these guys. That's all I can really think of. Let's just keep going. All right. This is it. Take your strongest team into the Snow Frills battle. It is... I thought I was going to say the name there. It's Alucard, I think. We just beat the Alucard assist trophy, but I think we have to do the proper fight now. There he is. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Fight me! I don't find this boss to be too challenging, because thankfully, he, he has a lot of moments where you can actually hit him. Uh, I don't remember most of his phases, but there's a lot of points where you can't connect with him. I think I just need to go for the head more. Because by looks of it, by hitting him in the legs, it just wasn't doing jack shit. I'm going to get hit by these blasts. It's not good. But he, he's pretty tame compared to the rest of the bosses. I'm also doing a lot more damage on, like, the bosses now compared to what I was doing a few episodes ago. Oh shit, how am I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> But it shouldn't be too tough. Aiming for the head's kind of a, a decent specialty of Sonic's because of his jump. It kind of leads perfectly into a back air for his head. So this is not too difficult. He doesn't seem to get knocked down by like a critical hit like some of the other bosses do. One more ought to do it. One more homing attack. I mean, that was the wrong way. That was going to be it. This is it. it. Oh my god. I just want to land the final blow. I can do it. I know I can do it. I'm within that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. I'm in the final hit range. I just need to land it. Oh my god. If I lose now, I swear to god. There we go. Open attack to the face. Wait, doesn't he have a second phase? Oh, my tiny brain forgot all about second phase. Ah, oh, That's why this fight was easy. My small brain forgot all about this! Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I like how it's not until after my final hit that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not done. That goes to show you how long ago it was I did Classic Mode. I have done Classic Mode with every fighter, but... My god, I just didn't remember. Okay, well, we've already got him down about halfway. Just so long as he doesn't do one big hit on us. We just gotta get our shields up, which I'm not doing a whole lot of. I'm just trying to wail on him to see how much I can do in one go. Okay, that's fine. Get him with a back air. That's nice. That did a lot of shield stun. I wasn't able to get out of that for quite a while. And that was super bouncy. Alright. Now I know... To not just get pummeled in the first half and just wait for the second half, because that's where most of his damage is coming from. Honestly, this first phase isn't so bad once you get used to, like, the attack patterns. Like, already, I'm, I've only taken 5% damage. Like, right here, just pull up your shield, you're sweet. It doesn't do a whole lot of shield damage. Uh, whatever he's gonna throw out next, I'll tell you what it does. Nothing, because he's already onto the second phase. Okay, then. Like, obviously, I understand that's how bosses are supposed to work. You're supposed to, like, watch for their patterns so you learn when to attack rather than just wail on him. But sometimes just wailing on him is kind of fun. Like, there. Like, that's my shielding opportunity. I can get a couple hits in and I'll go behind him. Okay, well. Going behind him was just so I could avoid whatever he was going to throw. I didn't know what he was going to throw. Oh my god, that parry was so lucky. That parry probably saved my ass. I really shouldn't be on the side where the screen can kill me. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Avoid that. I can get, like, one or two more hits. Get my shield up. Okay, didn't get, get my shield up on time. I'm getting too greedy for some of these hits. Okay, just shield that. Didn't know there was an extra one there. Okay, I've got my invisibility, so now I can just wail. Just go for some forward smashes. Go for a back air. Homing attack. Back air. Shield. Oh god, that didn't work. I keep going for like three hits whenever I get the chance to, rather than just two. Okay, get around him. Nice. Nicely done. Run up. Forward smash. Shield. Nope, didn't get it. Oh no, no, no. So long as I can avoid these, I think I've got them. Okay, back air. I missed. Coming attack. Back air. There we go. 
That's it. Now that is the boss fight done, I think. Nice. Run. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure that his explosion doesn't kill me. That would be such a dick move. If, his, if an explosion of one of these fights could just end it. Dracula's second form. Look at that. Two beautiful spirits right there. So many skill spheres. Oh, yes. Oh, look at them all. All right. I hope this has now made those other two fighters available because I don't know what else to do for them. I haven't seen any more cannons I can use or any more switches I can flick. So if that doesn't get rid of these little spirits, I don't know what to do, honestly. I still have a cannonball, so I feel like there's something that I'm missing. But like, I feel like I've been all around the, the, the map and I don't know what to do. But that is that boss fight cleared from the Dark Realm. We have only got the north to go to next. So we're practically done here. And I know we're at our episode time limit. I can't do anything. Okay. We've got a rope down. But that looks like it's it. That looks like... The, yeah, that's all we're getting. So there's clearly still some sort of puzzle or something that I'm missing to unlock this fighter. And this fighter. So next time on World of Light, we will unlock them and then go up north and do the final area uh, that we can see in the Dark Realm. Thank you so much, my friends, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>